Hey A team, and on this DIY, we are going to be making a Hocus Pocus inspired Halloween witch's broom drop off. And all we're gonna need for this is these three witch's brooms because it's Hocus Pocus. So we have the green, the purple, and the orange. And these were $4.50, these witch's brooms. Super cute and very long. See the little buckle on them? I love them. And they have these little tiny like spiders on them, which is kind of cute too. So we have those that we need. So we got three of them for the three witches of Hocus Pocus. I also got a witch's hat. I thought it would be a great prop to have. These are $3 and they are felt um, with a like polyester lining, but they are nice, beautiful, and they come in the three colors. So they come in the purple, they come in the green, they come in the orange, and you can get all three if you wanted to. Um, but I only just prefer to pick up the one. Again, those hats are $3. Then we're going to need the $4 hanging decor sign. And this is just something that we're going to use as our base. Then for this holiday Halloween season, they have these $2 Halloween signs. And this one says, it's just a bunch of hocus pocus which is very fitting for our theme. And I thought that that would be really great to attach it to our board. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into this craft and let's go. <laughs> All right, so our very first thing is we're going to paint the top of this. Now, before we go ahead and paint the top of this, I am just going to unscrew the back of these knobs because we'll screw them back in after the fact. So let's get to the backs of these and take them off. So we've taken off those knobs and it just has like a better together sign that we're painting over top, okay?
So we'll let that finish up drying. And while we let that finish up drying, we are just gonna go in and get this all set up. So, we're gonna take this metal off. Also, this would be really cute as a Hocus Pocus wreath, guys, for you wreathers out there, just an FYI. Okay, so hanging item is gone. All I'm gonna do with this is, I love how it is, it's already perfect, but I just wanna go ahead and around the edging, I'm gonna go in with the black again, and then I'm gonna go in with some glitter and glitter them off. that dry and this is almost dry so we'll be back and we'll start glittering the backboard um, I'm excited about that because we are going to be using this color here so we shall return all right guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint our second coat what I've done is I've traced out our hocus pocus little tiny stencil and so that I don't have to repaint in behind it because we're really going to tack it down to the board or hot glue it. So I just want to paint around the edges and then we'll go in with this purple glitter, a chunky and a fine and it'll look so great. Alright guys, so we have already glittered this, we just need to let it dry, then we'll go ahead and dust it off, we'll complete the placking, and then we'll hang up our witch's brooms. <laughs> Morning A-Team, and I have my second cup of joe in hand, and we are gonna get to the rest of this Hocus Pocus, because today is the premiere of Hocus Pocus. 
and why not do a craft of Hocus Pocus on premiere day? So let's get right to it. The last thing that we had done was taken some paint and traced out our Hocus Pocus sign that we got at the Dollarama, traced it out on the black board that we painted, and then I painted more black on it, of course, and then sprinkled some glitter onto it. So without further ado, let's actually take a look at what it looks like under all this layering. I didn't put any um, fine glitter on this. It was just completely chunky. So I'm hoping it's gonna cover, um, but I really don't know. Oh my God, it actually worked, yay! Okay, so just give me a minute. I just wanna get all this glitter off. Oh my God. Okay, so we have our glitter in place and it actually attached to it really, really well. So now what we're going to do is heat up our hot glue gun and we are going to attach our sign to it. But we wanna make sure that when we are putting on our Hocus Pocus sign, these tips here are gonna be straight flat with the top of the board, okay? And I'll show you more closely once we get there, guys. I didn't even plug in my hot glue gun, so let's get that done. Hot glue gun is ready. Let's just go ahead and attach this board. And I usually peel off the $2 stickers and stuff, but whatever, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be there, right? So I just don't know where I'm gonna put these. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna adhere really well. And that it doesn't adhere before I put all the glue on it. So just press down a bit, just so that it could kind of adhere. So there is our sign. So now all we have to do is put in our broomstick knobs. So we have our hinges back on and now all we have to do is start decorating it out. Here is our inspired Hocus Pocus DIY, a good little broom nook for your witch's broom and hats and cloaks. I hope that you guys are able to find these signs in your own Dollarama and that you're able to go ahead and DIY this for Halloween yourself. And I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please comment below and let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for your continued support. Thanks for tuning in everyone and I hope that you have a hocus pocus day. And we'll check you on the next video.